Good morning, everyone. Scott Earhart here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Thank you all so very, very much for taking time out of your busy days to join us. I think you're going to find today's presentation very, very timely and very, very worthwhile. Uh, today, we'll be looking at some Social Security uh, claiming and marketing, uh, prospecting and marketing aspects, as well as get into a little bit of claiming. To do that, we're going to have an absolute um, marketing and social security expert join us, one of our national sales coaches, Mr. Dave Pimper. He'll jump in here with us in just a few minutes. Um, before I hand it over to Dave, we will go through a few introductory slides. And right before we do that here right now, I'm going to go through just a few housekeeping items quickly. Um, so let's start with those housekeeping items. Uh, first and foremost, probably the most important thing you will hear out of my mouth this morning uh, is in the top right-hand corner of your screen. That is our phone number, 800-255-5055. If there is anything that we can be doing uh, here at IMS to help you in your life, annuity or assets under management efforts, please do not hesitate to give us a call. We'd certainly love the opportunity to be chatting with you. Uh, second housekeeping item are gonna be polling questions. I've got three polling questions queued up uh, for us today. They're just simple yes or no clicks. Um, if you would please take the time to participate in those, we certainly appreciate everyone, um, everyone participating in those. And then final housekeeping item, our questions. Dave uh, is quite the expert when it comes to Social Security and quite the expert when it comes to marketing in general. Uh, so with that, I know he's going to throw a lot of information at you in a fairly condensed time period. If you have any questions, type them into the questions box. We will do the very best we can to get those uh, to get those um, answered while we are live and in session. Uh, if we do not get to them, while we are live in session, a gentleman from my office named David Corwin will be calling each of you to uh, follow up on today's presentation. Feel free to pose that question to him. We will get those answered for you. All right. With that, let's go ahead and move into some introductory slides here. Uh, first is the new producer builder slide. This is going to, be, going to be geared towards individuals who are new to us here at IMS, or if this is your first introduction to us here at IMS, you are eligible for this program. This is all based on uh, production within your first 180 days of being licensed. And as you can see, there are several great levels that you could qualify for and inside that level, some great options. We've got cash rewards, we've got business building tools, even personal rewards, personal perks in there that are available to you. If you'd like to know more about how the new producer builder works, Give your sales director here at IMS a call. They can walk you through it. We can let you know where you stand. We can have we can lay out mapping to help you get to the level you want to get to. Uh, really, really great program here and definitely want you to take advantage of it if you're new to us. Now, once you uh, have been with us for a little while, um, the there are a couple really popular programs that are available to you. These are our two most popular, uh, we'll call them business builders that we offer. First is going to be the referred producer program. Our business on the wholesale side of the industry, very similar to yours there in the field in that one of the best leads that we will ever obtain is a referral from one of our, our valued producers, you. So what we want to do is make it worth your while to send other producers to us or refer other producers to us. Uh, when you refer a producer to us, they pick up any licensing through IMS. We're going to send you a $50 thank you check. Um, that just happens automatically. Now, where the real money comes in is as your referred producer, <coughs> excuse me, writes business, you will receive an override on that production. You can see the percentage breakdown there um, on, you know, all different types of products. We cut these checks at least quarterly. They do total into the thousands and thousands of dollars at a time. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, very, very happy to write those checks. With that being said, if you can think of anyone that would benefit uh, from doing business with us at IMS, feel free to type their contact information into the uh, into the questions box. Feel free to email me their information, scott at imsinc.com, or when David calls to follow up, uh, let him know who they are. We will do the best we can to get them introduced to IMS, recruited to IMS, and get you on your way to earning referred producer dollars. Below that, 
is our most popular program. This is our marketing reimbursement program. Rough numbers on that. Every $100,000 in FIA you place with IMES puts $100 into your marketing reimbursement account. Now, the reason why this is such a popular program is because we truly consider this to be your money. Um, we're not going to cap your account. We're not going to make you roll it out in any certain time period. And we really put very few restrictions on vendors that you can utilize. So if you want to use our internal uh, team, IMS Creative, certainly can. If you want to use one of our partnered vendors, we've got 40, 50 plus vendors that we help partner with for, or that help us partner with you for marketing. Uh, purposes, or if there is a vendor out there that you are using and having success with, we want to help you continue to foster that relationship. All we'd ask in that scenario is you send us an invoice or a receipt for the marketing you purchased. We'll cut you a check um, to help offset that cost. If you want to know more about either program, give your sales director a call at 800-255-5055. They can walk you through everything. We can get you marketing reimbursement balances. We can we can help you navigate that as well. Just let us know if there are any questions. All right, moving forward, back office support. This slide is the core of who we are here at IBES and how we were founded some 36 years ago, helping you work smarter, not harder. We're going to do that with great business building tools and resources. You've seen a couple of the business building slides, resources like these great webinars and our sales coaches are all available to you. That's going to fall right in line with that bullet point on top sales expertise and coaching. Uh, we're here to help you grow your business. Case design assistance and life and annuity quotes. My team is going to help you. Uh, my team is going to help you uh, with your case design, with your life and annuity quotes. And they love me for this, but I put a 24 hour guarantee out there if you need case design if you need illustrations anything like that we're going to have it to you in 24 hours no questions asked and honestly we're probably going to have it to you a lot sooner than that uh but the 24-hour guarantee works from a marketing standpoint we like that so uh definitely we're here to help you with anything you need on the pre-sale end we do have forms at your fingertips as well um, uh, if you need forms, proper applications, marketing material, all you have to do is you can go to imsinc.com and request it. You can call us at 800-255-5055. We'll get it out to you, either drop shipped or emailed. Uh, we also appoint um, the vast majority of our, our uh, producers direct to the carrier. So you can go direct to carrier as well for those if you need to, but we're here to do that. The biggest headline that you're going to hear me talk about here is the submission to commission support. I'm talking about my new business teams here, uh, and they are absolutely fantastic. Uh, Life New Business is headed by Cindy Fry. Annuity New Business is headed by Amber Williams. Um, these, these two uh, lovely ladies and their entire teams work solely for you. All they do are scrub apps, submit apps, track the apps, let you know about any requirements, push for underwriting, push for suitability to get through and get you commissioned as quickly as possible. These teams are very, very good at what they do. And the best part about utilizing the IMS new business teams is there's no cost for you. We're, there's no fee involved with them. They are just solely here to make sure your business moves through as quickly as possible. I'd put this challenge out to you. If you're someone that hasn't utilized uh, the new business teams, next piece of business you write, do it on our Firelight system, or if you like paper apps, submit it through us. I think you will be pleasantly surprised with how much quicker you will be commissioned because of the efforts of this team. So please, please take advantage of them. And then the bottom bullet point there, paperless contracting. We are on the Surance Bay platform. Um, I, I'm not gonna date myself here, but if any of you have been in the business as long as I have, uh, we all remember the days of filling out individual licensing forms and the hand cramps, uh, those costs, those days are gone. Everything's done online. 90% of our carriers are available on that platform. We can get you uh, we can get you appointed with a carrier or multiple carriers off of one document. So if you'd like to know more about that, give uh, our licensing team a call. They can walk you through the Surance Bay platform and how easy it is to utilize. I mentioned Firelight uh, just a few seconds ago. We do have uh, the Firelight eApp system as well as the iPipeline Ego or iGo eApp system. 
um, available to you at imesinc.com. Uh, here's, a, here's a list of several carriers. Uh, and honestly, that list isn't fully comprehensive. We should update that. We've got a, the vast majority of our carriers and products available to you on Firelight and um, the iGo eApp. Definitely will save you time. Definitely will help you submit business that is, um, I'm going to use the word cleaner or in better order on that. And it cuts out shipping delays or upload delays because when you hit submit, it's directly dropped into the IMS queue. We review it here just to see if there's anything glaring and hit submit and the same the moment we hit submit it is at that carrier's queue they are already starting to work that business for you the other thing that's awesome is it's available all the time um we saw a lot there was a carrier that had a um reduction uh happening at the close of business monday i probably saw 11 apps come through uh, over the weekend via the Firelight system, and we are still working those even on Saturdays and Sundays. We are we are committed to help you do that. If you have questions about Firelight, give your sales director a call. We'll get you registered. We'll get you access. Again, no cost to you whatsoever here, but a great way to help you and your clients get their policy sooner. Uh, with that being said, I think I just saw Mr. Pimper jump in. Dave, are you with us? Absolutely. Hey, buddy. Great to hear your voice. Glad you've glad you're here. Thanks for taking the time for us. I'll hand it over to you here in just a couple seconds. All right. No problem. Fantastic. Uh, I mentioned creative marketing or not creative marketing. I mentioned creative marketing solutions earlier. I'm creative. We do have a full uh, full team here uh, in house in our offices that are graphic designers, web designers, copywriters, all available to you to help you market yourself and your practice. If you want access to IMS Creative, just give your sales director a call. We kind of let the sales directors help you design or help you get an idea of what you want. And then we funnel into the creative team to make it as streamlined as possible for you. This team is here to help you market yourself, brand yourself. Uh, definitely want you to take advantage of them. I mentioned it a couple of times uh, throughout previous slides, our website, imsinc.com. If you haven't created an account there, as soon as we're done with this presentation, go to imsinc.com, create that account. Uh, you're going to get access to a ton of stuff. As I mentioned, Firelight, Term Quote Engine, Annuity Quote Engine, Annuity Rate Watch, Product Grids, everything's out there for you. We're constantly making updates to it. Uh, definitely a great, great tool to have, um, have for you and for your practice. Retirement Analyzer is a great, great partner with us. I know there's at least one gentleman on, on this webinar right now that is an avid user of Retirement Analyzer. Here's what I'll tell you. Retirement Analyzer, the compliance world we're kind of in right now, it's great to have a tool that shows you did the research on product, you did the research with the client, You this is why you made the recommendation. There's a lot of tools out there like that. Why I like Retirement Analyzer, is because I think it's a great closing tool as well. It is really easy for clients to understand the graphs, the charts, the language are very plain, very easy for them to understand. And with a click of a button, you can show the client exactly how much better their position will be because they chose to implement the product or the strategy that you're recommending. It will help you close more sales and increase your, increase your closing ratio if you utilize it. Marcus Solar and David Corwin, our appointment here in the office for Retirement Analyzer. If you'd like more information on it, give them a shout. They'll definitely walk you through how it works. <clears throat> We've got some great training webinars available for it as well. IMS Wealth Management. As I talk about IMS Wealth Management here quickly, I'm going to launch our first polling question of the day. And all I'm asking here is if you would like more information about IMS Wealth. When you click yes, you're gonna get an automated email and a phone call from Duncan Smith, our uh, national sales director for IMS Wealth. Just to kind of give you an overview of who they are, allow you to kick the tire, see if it's a fit for you. We founded IMS Wealth, oh, probably, uh, almost four years ago now, and we founded it in the same light as IMS, the IMO. The, and what I mean by that is we are an advisor-centric, advisor-first firm. Uh, you're going to get the same. We answer the phones. We respond to emails. Everything's done very, very quickly. 
all in hopes to help you write more business. Uh, we do have some great training partnerships out there. So if you're someone that's considering taking the Series 65 exam, we've got some great tools and relationships to help you pass it on the very, very first try. I would say this, if you are an IAR, someone that is already, uh, already working uh, with assets under management, click yes kick the tires of Iams Wealth, I think you'll be really impressed with the technology that we bring to the table, the, the platform that we offer uh, to you and to your clientele, and the fee structure. We are incredibly, incredibly competitive. That being said, I'm gonna move on so we can get into the meat and potatoes of today's presentation. If you haven't taken the time to click yes or no, if you would please do so right now, certainly appreciate that. All right, thank you everybody. Let's get moved on here. All right, fun stuff here, real quick. We are still qualifying for the Top Producer Summit and we've got a long time to qualify for that. Uh, we've got until the end of June of 22, uh, four and a half million points to qualify. Uh, we are going on a Mediterranean cruise. You can see all those ports of call there. This is gonna be an awesome trip. Largest trip we've ever done. Uh, and it's going to be the best attended trip we've ever had. So I would tell you if qualifying for something like this is something that is of interest to you, get with your sales director here at IMS. Let's map out a plan. Let's make sure you're there with us. It's going to be a really, really great trip. All right. I'm excited to have this slide back because what this slide means is we are currently um, taking applications for our first live Life and Annuity Academy in quite a while. Obviously, with where the world went last year, we couldn't host live events. We are going to be back to a live event in September. Very, very excited about this. I'm going to click launch on a poll now asking you if you'd like more information about the Life and Annuity Academy. Um, I would tell you if you've never been to one, click yes, or if you haven't been to one in a few years, click yes. That's gonna put you on the interested parties list. As soon as the applications are officially open, you will be the first group notified. Uh, we are going to be in September. We are gonna partner with Athene for this. It's a two and a half day training, all expenses paid. We bring in our top sales coaches, Dave Pimper being one of them, uh, to speak to you. To be a sales coach here at IMS, not only do you have to be able to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk as well. You got to be a top producer. And these ladies and gentlemen show you exactly what it is that they do that makes them top producers and give you the ability to implement that in your own practice. Of course, you'll meet myself and the other department heads here from IMS. We're going to talk to you about what we can do to help you grow your business, how we can best um, best serve you. And then because we are partnering with Athene, you're going to meet a lot of the higher ups at Athene. They're going to talk about everything from uh, pricing a product and how to build a product to volatility control and disease suitability. All sorts of great stuff is jam packed into two and a half days here. Now, I want to move on but I would be remiss if I didn't ask Dave for some commentary on this. Dave has been a great partner to us for, what is it, Dave, a decade with these? I mean, yeah, you, no, it's you long, know it's these long, as well as bad, I do, but a, lo a long time. It's been, yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> Any commentary on the Academy, Dave, that you'd like to provide? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we had a, a big virtual event uh, about uh, five months ago and was well attended, but it is not like a face-to-face. -face. It's like a Zoom meeting, a phone meeting, or a face-to-face or a -face meeting with the client. It's always good. It's always going to be stronger, and that's the way those events are. IMS has a minimum of, of four a year, and Athene's been a good partner, you know, with, with IMS. But the, the couple things that are different there that I think than most, and I've been to other FMO events, is that, first of all, you feel included. So you don't have to be the, the, the $20 million producer to be included in different groups. I mean, everyone's included here. You're not going to be invited to this unless you're producing now or, or, or you've got potential to be a pretty good producer. So everybody there is kind of in the same boat. I think the second thing is is that there's there certainly is some product discussed. I mean, you're at a, you're at a manufacturer's home office with the theme. But IAMS does a lot with how to how to get in front of people from a marketing kind of from a business standpoint to run 
you know, to run your practice. I mean, what what are you doing to go in and to make it more profitable? And there's some really good ideas there. So, um, it, it, you know, if you get selected to go or you want to go and, 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 you know, and IAMS is taking you under their, under their wing, I will tell you right now, getting a producer out of the field for two and a half days, it's a tough deal because you're out of production. But hopefully you can come back and really make that up in a, in a hurry when you hear some of the insight that's given at that academy. So anyone who has some interest, I would certainly uh, mark yes on this, and um, so they you can show you surely because Scott, this will this one's going to fill up really really fast, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna we were not able to do one at all last year, so this is going to fill quickly. Yeah, yeah, we did the, did the virtual one, mm-hmm. and again we had some good participation, but you know what? Nothing like you have the undivided attention with one that's face to face, which this is. So it, I mean, and I would think probably bring in producer wise you think we'll bring in how many do you think we'll bring in 30 35 uh 30 to 35 is our target for this due to social distancing yeah absolutely okay all right real, real good well you know what looking forward to, to seeing everybody that uh, is able to go to the new academy mark yes if you do have any interest hey thank you for the kind word dave and as always thank you for your participation with us in these you academies bet. we couldn't do it without you buddy you bet. I appreciate All it. All right. Closed out there. Let's keep moving. Hey, uh, shameless plug here, guys. Uh, follow us and like us. Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, we put a lot of great information out there on social media. Definitely want you to follow us and like us. I think you'll you'll like what we have to do on social media. And we can also help you with your social media via those outlets. All right. Mr. Pimper, did I load up the right slides, do you think? Dave, you with me? Dave, can you hear me, buddy? My apologies, guys. We must be having some technical difficulties here. Let me see if I can get Dave back. Got you there. I'm here, buddy. Can you hear us? I'm. I'm sorry. I cut. Every, I cut myself off. I. I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm just not a big tech wonder, am I? Hi, hey, man. That is. That is all good, buddy. All good. So, <laughs> uh, disregard the text I just sent you that asked if you're still with us. Yeah. All right. I hear you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you control, buddy. Okay. Good. 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 And we are. We're. We're going to be done at five till. So this okay. lets you know it's going to be a 30-minute webinar and um, a lot of information to cover. My name is Dave Pimper. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button, and uh, I got shut off, and I had to, had to, uh, uh, to kind of apply back online again. So um, been in the business. On July the 9th, it'll be 40 years. That's a long time, 40 years in the business. Started in 1981. Um, I do a, a lot of fixed index business, fixed index, uh, fixed business. We have a Medicare shop also. Uh, that we run through IMs, and then we have uh, our, our our investment firm. Um, I like marketing. Done, pre- we've done over uh, we've done actually 540 public seminars that I that I've um, oversaw on that since uh, the early 80s, and um, you know right now we're doing you know 8,000 pieces of mailings uh, every single month, you know from the Medicare side. So we're we like we like marketing. You know, I owned a catalog company one time, as I owned the brokerage firm, but I owned a catalog company and sold that after 10 years. Last year, we mailed out to about a little over 3 million catalogs. So I, I, I've always enjoyed the marketing end of our business, and this is a contact business. The more contact than, than, than I said in football is if you're not making contact, you're not making sales. End of story. Social Security is one of those kind of weird um, – 
strategies, weird uh, knowledge that a lot of advisors, uh, especially younger advisors, they don't even think it's going to be around. So why should I learn it not going to be around? I'll tell you right now, it is going to be around. But the second thing is, so many people just really don't have a good feeling about how Social Security maximization works. Um, we disclosed a deal, 105000 um, the reason she came in was because she wanted to figure out when she should take her Social Security. And before we know it, she was a postal worker, and we worked for the Thrift Savings Plan and did an in-service non-hardship withdrawal a plan a transfer You know, with that money. She's 61 years of age. I mean, that right there, um, I mean, I will just tell you, um, um, she talked to another person, and he had, oh, he just didn't. He said, let me get back to you, and she didn't want that. She wanted the answers from the person. So. We're going to do this pretty quickly. Uh, there's three ways to get coached up on Social Security claiming. One is two ways are marketing, and they're paid for by IMS Insurance Agency Marketing Services, the FMO that Scott is in charge of all the annuity directors, marketing directors. Um, what happens is is that there is seminar marketing, and actually our, you know, we're the, the things are starting to to, uh, to uh, shine right now from the in-person seminars and everything opening up twenty five hundred dollars for a for, for a face-to-face -face social security seminar that includes everything the presentation the coaching the social security claiming and to get the people there at the workshop um and there's retirement boss radio which your normal costs are thirty five hundred to forty five hundred i mean this last weekend we got um three 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 set appointments three set appointments pretty darn good in the the heat of the summer and uh, your your social security is claiming is coaching is covered with that, or you can just do it a la carte. You know, I'll, I'll coach you up for $800 on four sessions with all your attachments. And on all, with all those, you can use me at any time that you want to, to help you with social security questions to answer those for you. This is a great little tip biz from Sarah O'Brien from CNBC. It says, a majority of older Americans get no professional advice about a key part of the retirement planning, social security. Even if they work with a financial advisor, a recent study said, uh, we don't have the, the, but the data, but this is an old slide, but there was a, a article in Investment News that said that if you have Social Security, you, you are apt to go in and get over 70% 70, 70 of the clients would consider leaving their advisor if they didn't know Social Security claiming. That's how important Social Security is. Do you make any money per se from the Social Security knowing it? No. But opening up their assets, finding out, I call it the five pillars of income, wages, pensions, investable assets, RMDs under traditionals, and Social Security, that's where we uncover all of that money. So what happens is, is that, is that uh, uh, recently, and then you can read this, Americans from the ages of 60 and 70 were asked five crucial questions about Social Security. One in 300 of them answered them correct. So I want to see how you guys did. I answered them all correct. There's one tricky one, but I answered all correct. So let's do a little quiz. Let's do a quiz, okay? I mean, everybody go along with me, Eric. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have some fun with this. Here's the first question. Five questions. To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? benefits write the answer down here we go write the answer write it down it's not full retirement age it is age 70 yep that's when you maximize your social security benefit two what's the earliest age you can receive survivors benefits if you're not disabled what's the earliest age you cannot receive survivors benefits if you're not disabled Answer is, yep, 60. Third question, does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Write that answer down. Yes or no? Yep, they do. Question four, can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? <clears throat> this is a two-part question. Got to get the first part right. Does Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Here we go. 
Yes, they can if four stipulations are met. So if you guess two of the four stipulations, two of the four, I'm going to give this answer to you. If you guessed yes, you the answer two of the four. Okay, here we go. Here's the four stipulations that must be met. Your marriage lasted 10 years or longer. The one claiming the benefit is currently unmarried. The ex can, can be married. Ex needs to be at least 62. Divorce was two years or longer ago. If those four things lined up, you can use your uh, spouse just as if you're still married to them. Okay? And last question. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? Let's go ahead and answer. Okay, you are. If the stipulations are met. And I'm not going to go through those four again because we just went through them. So if you guess yes, I'm going to give that to you. How'd you do? How'd you do? You know, there's, there's five questions. I mean, if you got one through three, you probably need help. If you got four or five, you probably know Social Security. If you just guessed on them all, you couldn't guess on the stipulations, though. So that's two questions there you probably didn't get right. Yeah, most people, I mean, most people are going to get one or two right. Eleven years ago, I would, I would have probably gotten one right just because I guessed right. I knew nothing about Social Security claiming until I delved into it. And having someone like myself that can coach you up, it's a big plus. It's a big, big plus. Okay. It's from Jana Heron. This is how, how, how important Social Security is. Jana Heron from USA Today on July the 1st of two years ago. Doing this one thing with your Social Security can mean losing 100000 in retirement. Wow. How much does claiming Social Security at the wrong time cost you? A lot. Retirees will lose an average of $111,000 thousand dollars in income per household over the lifetime why the one reason because they took social security benefits at the wrong time jeez overall this is an amazing um an amazing fact overall only four percent of retirees took social security at the financially optimal age i like them them apples wow so kind of a stroll down memory lane social security act was signed in 1935 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, first check in 1940, 65 was the only age you could take it. You couldn't take it early. You couldn't take it late. In 61, you could start taking earlier. After that, then it happened. You could take it later for an for increase in benefits. Cost of living, inflation was started in 1975 on an annual basis. No taxation until 83. Up to 50% of your Social Security benefits could be taxed. In 93 up to 85 percent. And bipartisan budget act of G15 was the last time there's any major change in Social Security. How important is it? Dang important. 59 percent of retirees count on the Social Security benefit to be, and it's the major source of income. So it's a big deal. If you know nothing about Social Security and you listen to this slide, you're going to know more than you knew before. Here's how the skeleton structure of Social Security works. There's three ages or dates that are important. There's the earliest you can start taking, age 62. There's the latest that you have to take or you just don't get an extra any more benefit, age 70. There's eight years in there you can take, 62 to 70. And then there's something called full retirement age. It's somewhere between 66 and 67. 66 of the earliest, 67 of the latest, two-month intervals between that. If you take it full retirement age, you get your full benefit, non-reduced, not reduced. If you take early, there's goods and bads of each thing. If you take early, the good thing is you get income now. The bad thing is that it is uh, it's reduced for the rest of your life. If you wait later, it's increased. That's good. The bad thing is you don't get any benefit now. So there's a lot to look at when you take Social Security. It's whether you have a spouse, it's whether you're divorced or, or you have a survivor benefit, one of your, your spouse is deceased, um, how long you think you'll live, what's your, what's your, 
what your DNA is like in your family, how bad you need money right now, if you have other incomes or, or, or savings or pensions or real estate or alimony or, or child support, if you have other monies coming in. There's a lot of stuff to look at. But when we coach, we try to make it pretty simple so you really understand it. But that's kind of Social Security 101. Can it have a huge value? I had a, I just did business with a gal two weeks ago from my last, I had an in-person Social Security workshop about a month ago. But she said, when you came in and said that it can have a huge value if you claim at your right time, not a right time or not the right time, but your right time then it could have a huge value. And she said that really made an impact on them. What 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 hits people you just don't know until they come in? There's actually $2.8 trillion in the trust fund. It ran a, a surplus last year. Actually, this was two years ago. It was $6 billion. It ran a surplus. But the trust fund will run out of money because they're going to start taking from it. They haven't taken from it since 1980, 1983 was the last year. But what they'll do is there's going to be some kind of taxation or maybe increased of full retirement age year, uh, full retirement benefit, um, age 70 might go to 73. There'll be something with age also, probably something with both of them. It's a pay-as-you-go system because the majority is paid by payroll taxes, the 6.2% that you pay on yourself, the 6.2% your employer pays. If you're self-employed, you pay them both. And they buy special you uh, government bonds. There's no market valuation or interest rate valuation in those bonds or set in. They can be cash at any time. The government basically has borrowed from all of those bonds. They've taken cash them in, paid off other parts of the debt of the government. And what happens is that you've got IOUs in there. So some people think it's a Ponzi scheme because it's not backed by anything that's hard, like gold, silver, um, um, however Bitcoin is backed. And I'm joking on that, but yeah, bonds, yeah. But it's not a Ponzi scheme. There's never been, there's never been anything, anything lost. I did read, I did read something really interesting from like 35 years ago. There was a benefit of $155 that 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 they thought that they never received, and the guy got just got a letter of it after 35 years from Social Security. So yeah, they they don't give up on getting money back. I'll assure you. Figuring out your benefit. So 40 quarters of coverage or 40 credits or 40 working credits, there's all kind of different names for it. You need 40 of them. And those 40, you need to earn at least, four, in this year, 2021, at least $1,471. If you earn $1,471, you earn a quarterly credit. If you earn another $1,471, you earn the second one. And the third one, and you can earn up to four per year. No matter how much you make, you can't earn any more than four credits. So 1470 times four is fifty eight hundred and eighty dollars. If you make fifteen hundred and eighty dollars, you've just made your four quarterly credits. And you need uh, forty of those. So you need ten years at four a year for forty quarterly credits. And then they just figure your working career. Sorry about that. Don't know why I have my phone on, so I apologize for that. Um you need forty you need forty quarterly credits to get you know to go on in and to um to 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 get a uh, social security benefit. What your what your Medicare benefit is tied into that. If you haven't got a social security benefit, then you don't get you know that very, very reduced Medicare benefit. You can get it at a much higher price, pay for the, the whole the whole bore. So getting that social security benefit's important. Then it's the earnings over your working career. The more you make, the more you'll the more you make, the more you'll get. And at what age are you going to start your benefit? Yeah, if you start earlier, it's reduced. If you wait later, it's increased. They take your 35 highest benefit years, including inflation adjusted. So COLA adjusted. That's how they come up. It's called AIM, and then they figure out your benefit. That's how they figure it out. If you have any questions, type them in. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you at the end of the presentation. But I'll tell you right now, um, I'm going through this, of course, much faster in a group session. If it's one-on-one -on -one and you're coaching with me, I'll tell you, if you don't know Social Security claiming and you're working with the pre-retired or just retired crowd, 
How can you not know Social Security? It's such a, a powerful tool. And now you've got three ways, two through marketing and one through just just a, just a standalone. I don't want to market. I want to pay for marketing. I don't need those extra prospects coming in. I just want to get coached up. We can do that. Yeah. No other FMO is offering something like this. I mean, it's a pretty cool thing. If you're born from 43 to 54, your full retirement age is 66. I was born in 55, so my full retirement age is 66 years and two months. If you're born in 56, it's 66, four. Born 1960 or later, it's 67. A child born today, full retirement age, 67. Okay? So it can't. Now, will that change in the future? Probably will. If you take early, like if, if you're full retirement age and you take it, you take it 62, depending on when you're born, you're going to be discounted between 25 and 30% of your income for the rest of your life will be discounted. Social Security grows between 4 and 6% from 62 to 67, depending on your full retirement age. Then it grows 8% guaranteed a year once you become full retirement age. So if your full retirement age is 66, it grows a guaranteed 32%. And then you throw another 10%, maybe cost of living on that. I mean, it almost it almost grows up 50%. That's a, like a full pension in four in, in in four years. Big 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 deal, big deal. Okay. Now I'm a believer that if you know the individual benefit, which we just went over, and you and you have a full understanding of the spousal, survivor, divorced, and restricted application. <clears throat> you really got you'll really know eighty five percent of all social security questions. So let's kind of go through the simplistics. And I know there's there's innuendos and hurdles and roadblocks and detours with every you know this but the majority of, of spousal works like this. Day's PIA, that's his amount, primary insurance amount, his amount at full retirement age, FRA. PIA at FRA. 2400 Amy's is 1000 Dave takes his. Amy takes hers. Dave gets 2400 Amy has an option. She can take all of hers or half of Dave's, whichever is higher. All of hers is 1000 Half of Dave's is 1200 which is better, 1200 That $200 top-up is a spousal top-up. So the way Social Security looks at this is she gets 1000 of her own individual benefit and a $200 spousal top-up. If Amy applies... Well, here's what happens is, let's say Dave wants to wait later to take his. Say he wants to wait to 70. Amy wants to take hers at 66. Amy gets 1,000. She can't get half of his until he takes his. That's the trick. And then once he takes his, then she can get half of his at full retirement age. She doesn't earn any on the delayed retirement credits. How about Dave as a doctor and his wife was a stay-at-home mom? They're a good Catholic family, had 10 kids. Yeah. Dave gets 2400 when he starts says how much does Amy get? All of hers is a zero. Half of his is 1200 She gets 1200 How much does she get at 66 if Dave wants to not take his until 70 She gets nothing. She can't take anything until she takes his. A lot of spinning plates when it comes to Social Security claiming. And I probably take, I take much, much longer to explain that if we're coaching together, of course. Divorce spouse benefit. Yeah, this is one of your quiz questions. Marriage lasted 10 years or more. Um, the divorce, the spouse receiving the benefits unmarried, X is at least 62. Divorce was two years or longer. If those four things line up, you can use your spouse just as if you're still married to them in the eyes of Social Security claiming. Why is that important? Because... Married couples have normally have many more options than single couples. It's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal, absolutely. Okay, so that's a divorced spouse. How about surviving spouse? My wife always says nobody gets out of here alive, and that's true. Not physically, maybe spiritually. There's there's a, a life after death, but not but not physically. Dave's benefits two grand. Amy's benefits twelve hundred. Who normally dies first? Guy does 75% of the time. Dave dies. Amy now can keep her benefit at 1200 or she can drop it and she can jump up to Dave's. Well, what are you going to do? She's going to drop it and jump up to Dave's. Absolutely. Saves her, gives her $800 more in her pocket. 
Now, this is interesting. With survivor benefit, is it automatic or do you have to ask for it? You got to ask for it. If you don't ask, you don't get. It's biblical. If you don't ask, you don't receive. How about divorce spouse? No, if you don't ask, you don't get it. How about the individual benefit? Again, if you don't ask for it, you don't get it. How about spousal? That's done automatically. See all the different is it is it is it SSA and Social Security Administration, are they gonna mail you like a certified letter and say, Hey, you're leaving eight hundred dollars on the table? No. No, not at all. They're not gonna do that. I had a gal that lost out on thirty thousand dollars because she didn't take her spousal benefit. And I asked her who told her and she said, My brother. <laughs> I still laugh about that. But my very, I think the second workshop I ever had on Social Security, 11 years ago at the Key Memorial Library in Fremont, my hometown by Omaha. She comes in and she's just, you know, after I told her she's beside herself, I told her, don't listen to her brother, or sister, aunt, uncle, priest, rabbi, pa pastor. I mean, no. Listen to someone who knows it, like Dave Pimp or anyone that, if, if you guys go in and are gals and you coach, I mean, that's a big thing. Coordinating spousal benefits, this gets really complicated, but to do a restricted application, he, the person asking for the benefit has to be born before January the 2nd of 1954. That puts them at about 67 and a half years old, not quite 67 and a half. So here's how it works, though. It's a coordinating of spousal benefits. <clears throat> this this is the twin sister of file and suspend that was phased out after uh, six months. This isn't going to be phased out until January 2nd of 2024, eight years from when it was implemented. So Dave and Amy are both 66 in this scenario. Dave has to be to do this, but I've put them both there. Dave's amount of full retirement age, PIA is 2,400. Amy's 1,000. Amy files for her, wants to get money in for the family. Dave wants to wait, which is really good. He's going to earn 8%. But if you do a little loophole called restricted application, in the eyes of Social Security, he has already started his. Well, if he starts his, now he gets he can he can start his he can go in and get a spousal benefit, which is half of Amy's, half of Amy's is five hundred. Yep, that's how it works. He gets his twenty four hundred grow eight percent guaranteed a year plus cost of living. That 500 bucks times 12 is $6,000 a year. That's absolutely free money. If you do it over four years, it's 4,000 bucks. Absolutely free money. Only 0.7 of 1% of the people that this could help do it. Why? They don't know it. What Social Security can do, they can give your best benefit right now, but they cannot give advice. Isn't that wild? They can give you your highest benefit now. On their program operational manual system, look, it provides enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but do not give advice. Isn't that wild? A lot of people go to them for advice. They can't. They give you the facts. So those are all important. It's not a standalone income stream. It's the most flexible of all the income streams, claiming at your right time is paramount. And the survivor benefit, when people figure out the break even, most don't ever survivor benefit. Remember that five pillars of income, wages, pensions, income producing assets, RMDs, required minimum distributions on traditionals and Social Security, how, they, Social Security, how it really conduits, how it goes in and complements those other four pillars of income. Lots to consider for your best claiming session. Again, there's three ways. If if you're not coached up on Social Security, if you don't know, gosh, mark yes and let's talk. I mean, can, can, it will be paid for by seminar marketing or retirement boss radio being your own host marketing. Both are great ways. I mean, I've, we've had and my group has had very good success. Or if you just want to just a la carte it, yeah, pay 800 bucks and no Social Security. You know, you gotta you gotta do a twelve thousand dollar fixed index annuity pay for the coaching. Wild. And once you know it, you know it. There's an old saying, and then we'll bring we'll bring up the um the poll question here right after. You can do it right now, Scott, if you want. But there's an old saying that says procrastination is my sin, it brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it, perhaps I'll stop. Well, <laughs> you know what? Tomorrow never comes. 
you heard something today on Social Security claiming that you like, mark yes. And when you mark yes, then what we're going to do is is we're going to get together with you, and David Corwin will give you a call. And if you mark yes, take the call. Don't don't blow him off. I mean, don't mark yes if you don't want him to call and to line up the appointment because you guys are busy. I, I know how busy producers are because I'm busy and I'm a producer. So if I mark yes, you know, we'll sit down for 15, 20, 25 minutes at the most on the phone and just get an idea of what you're looking for, if this could help you or maybe another marketing program of some type. But I'll tell you right now, Social Security, it'll it'll turbo boost your production. And how much do we make from per se Social Security? Nothing. But having that knowledge makes us a lot and we can really help people in the meantime. So I'm going to switch this on over to you, uh, Scott, and see if there's any questions and we'll just kind of button this thing up here in the next minute or two. Absolutely, buddy. Thank you. As always, poll is live, so please make sure to click yes or no on that. Um, I know your favorite story, Dave. I did have a question specific to the uh, young woman whose brother gave gave her that advice there, yeah. big dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. Were you able to get any of that loss back for her? Uh, good question. Yeah. Yeah, we retroed it by six months, which she had to ask for. In fact, she got me on. They weren't going to retro her because she's over 70, but, but they did retro her six months of, of 800, it was um, 500 bucks a month. So we, we, we went back and got her 3000. So instead of really her losing 30 grand, she ended up losing 27,000. And she was grateful for me for that, you know, I mean, to get her some money back. Social security, pretty darn complicated, but once you understand it, truly, it's like riding a bike. You really, you really get to know, the, the specific questions people ask and, and, and it's a great feeling not not from just writing more business but from helping people with with things that can really help them from an income standpoint upon retirement absolutely i know that woman was i remember that scenario very well dave that woman was very grateful and she's still a client to this day correct yep still is absolutely absolutely um here's a general question that we always get dave but it's a it's it's good to point this out meal or no meal when we're doing a social security presentation no meal no, no meal. meal can you do a meal sure if you want to you can i don't think i don't think it increases i don't even think it increases the room attendance much uh, i did it one time but not now people people the people that are there i i, I really don't want to feed them i want to educate them now, do I do no dinner seminars? No, I still do some, but 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 all of my social security seminars are are, are non-mealed. Uh, two years ago, I tried two back-to-back mealed seminars, and I didn't have any higher attendance than I did without offering a meal. So yeah, that saves that saves you about a thousand dollars, you know, from not having meals, and you don't have to have it at a restaurant. You can have it at an educational setting, you know, like at a community center, a library, municipal room, etc. Yep. Absolutely. Um, it, when someone, uh, you know, works with you, gets the gets Social Security package, do they get access to software for Social Security calculations as well? They do free, free up to three months. We give you three months free. We got a um, uh, we have an agreement with the with a Social Security software vendor, a very good one, well well known, been in business for thirty years, and. Um, uh, they're really good at what they do. And then it's like $30 a month if you want to keep it after that, but you get a trial at, you know, in, in the beginning, which is very nice. Yep. That's right. Absolutely. And you know, if, 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 it, if it's a social security workshops, you get a seminar of myself doing it. You get a, you get the, 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 the power deck, you get the PowerPoint slides, 44 slides with all of the language on it, all the attachments. I mean, everything we say on the phone. I mean, it's a, it's a cookie cutter, a through Z turnkey system. We don't want you changing a whole bunch because it's working right now. We give you the information and then we coach you through it. So it's it's been very, very successful for a lot of folks. Absolutely. It really, really has. Um, t -t 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 let me see here. Just look at a couple other questions. Oh, I like this one, Dave. You said this is a turnkey system. How turnkey is it? Well, it's turnkey. I mean, you know what? We give you we give you the key. You turn it, and you can do it if you if you if you really understand the material. 
but I, I like people, it's, you know, not to memorize. I'd rather have them kind of ad lib and do it a little bit of, you know, so it's not, it's a little extemporaneous. So we give them leeway and they can take it where they want to. But no, if you want it to be 100% turnkey, you can look, you could say the exact same thing I say. That That is up to you. But we give you all the tools to keep it a turnkey system. Absolutely. Everything. When Dave says it's turnkey, I mean, everything's there for you. The The mailing itself is mapped out. They can help you, you know, get get the list and get it out. I mean, you there's really not a lot of, lot of you know, creative legwork you have to do. This proven system is really plug and play for you. It is. You're exactly right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Dave, uh, we're at five till. Do you see any other questions that popped in that you want to tackle before we wrap it up for the group? Let me look here. We're going to talk so I can. Um, oh, yeah. On Retirement Boss Radio, um, we had two questions. Are there how many locations are available? Lots. I mean, there's still many, many cities. We just went into a big city at his very, very first, uh, very first radio show. And we actually don't expect anything on the first one. And Bill got Bill got a, a, a call. So that was great. He got an appointment from it, which is wonderful. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of openings in cities, and it, that is also a turnkey system, and I coach with that also, and I coach people up with Social Security if they don't know it. So what happens is the cost, it varies, but you know what? Um, I would say 3500 to $4,000 in that neighborhood, all in for the full production cost and being your own hour host on a radio show. Um, you know, I've been a radio host for I've been in radio for over 30 years, but I've had my own show for 14 years now. And I mean, I've gotten very well known, well branded. And the most important thing is I write business from it. I mean, I help a lot of people and write business. So if there's an interest there, just mark yes. We can talk more about it off the air when, when, when we actually do meet, you know, talk in the meeting. Absolutely. Yeah. Dave has had a lot of success uh, with Retirement Boss Radio and that branding. And we've got, uh, again, I talked to Bill yesterday. He was ecstatic to get his yeah. first, you know, very first radio show, very, very first appointment booked and set. It, you know, it, it, it's a program that definitely, definitely works. So if anybody on the line has interest in that as well, click yes. David, love to chat with you about that. You bet. You bet. All right. Well, good. Well, Scott, you know what? We'll, yeah, we'll kind of go in and, and, and close it up. Thank you, everybody, for taking a part of your Tuesday out with, with Iams and, 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 and Coach Dave Pimper. And, I'm I'm gonna excited about talking. I got a bunch of I can tell how many people voted yes here. A lot did. So thank you very much. Uh, we will see and talk to everybody hopefully within the next uh, day or two and have a real good production week. Hey, absolutely. Thank you for your time, Dave. Thank you to everybody. Go out. Have a great sales day. Bye now.